It is hard to find anyone who has seriously thought about the scale of the universe and not felt a deep, chilling sense of terror. The vast, seemingly endless emptiness of space, terrifying black holes that can erase matter, and the trillions of strange, distant worlds that make up the cosmos can overwhelm even the most curious minds. These exoplanets, scattered across the galaxy, are so alien and remote that they defy our current understanding, appearing almost unreachable. Today, we will delve into six incredible exoplanets, each with extreme and hellish conditions that would make them utterly inhospitable to life as we know it. These worlds, drifting through space in isolation, present an array of bizarre phenomena that challenge both our imaginations and our scientific knowledge. Some of these planets even baffle astronomers, defying classification with their extraordinary characteristics. The first of these is Koro 7b, an exoplanet with some of the most exotic and dangerous weather known to humankind. Imagine a world where it rains rocks and where no ordinary umbrella could protect you unless it were made of something as tough as titanium. Koro 7b is a truly hellish planet, raining stones instead of water. This unusual planet is just over 1.5 times the size of Earth and is roughly 1.5 billion years old. It lies relatively close to us, only 489 light years away. When scientists first discovered Koro 7b in 2019, they initially believed it to be the first rocky exoplanet that closely resembled Earth. However, it quickly became apparent that Koro 7b is anything but hospitable with a 0% chance of sustaining life. If you were somehow able to witness a sunrise on Koro 7b, it would be the last thing you ever saw. The planet's host star, Koro 7, located in the Monocero's unicorn constellation, is so bright and so close that the mere appearance of the sun over the horizon would reduce you to ash. The reason is that Koro 7b is 60 times closer to its star than Earth is to our sun, meaning the star appears 360 times larger in the planet's sky. The temperature on Koro 7b's sun-facing side reaches an unimaginable for 700 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Celsius, a heat intense enough to melt and vaporize rock. This extreme heat creates a rare phenomenon as the vaporized rock rises into the atmosphere and cools. It condenses into fine gravel, which then falls as what could only be described as rock rain. Some theoretical models suggest that Koro 7b is home to entire oceans of lava, adding to its fiery landscape. The planet's misery is compounded by the fact that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is perpetually facing its host star while the other side is forever shrouded in darkness. This results in extreme temperature differences, with the dark side plunging to as low as minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit minus 235 degrees Celsius. It is believed that Koro 7b was not always such a hostile place. Scientists think it might have started out as a gas giant, perhaps 100 times larger than Earth before gradually losing its gaseous atmosphere to the powerful solar winds of its star. What remains is a rocky core, a stark remnant of the planet's violent past. As terrifying as Koro 7b's surface conditions are, the next planet, J1407 b, presents a different but equally hostile scenario. Unlike the hellish firestorms of Koro 7b, J1407 b is a gas giant surrounded by colossal rings, dwarfing those of Saturn. While Saturn's rings are impressive, they pale in comparison to J1407 b's, which are 200 times wider, spanning over 110 million miles. For context, that's 20% more than the distance from Earth to the Sun, which is about 93 million miles or 1.2 astronomical units. The largest of Saturn's rings only measures about 300,000 miles across. These immense rings likely formed from the destruction of the planet's moons. Scientists believe that J1407 b's mass is somewhere between 10 and 40 times that of Jupiter, a colossal body with a gravitational pull strong enough to rip apart any satellite caught in its orbit. There is even speculation that J1407 b might not be a gas giant at all. 
but rather a failed star what scientists call a protostar that never accumulated enough mass to ignite nuclear fusion and become a brown dwarf. This would explain some of the peculiar behaviors J1 for 07b exhibits, such as orbiting its host star rather than a mutual center of gravity as seen in dual star systems. Despite its impressive size, the rings of J1 for 07b are relatively light, with a total mass estimated at 7.34 by 1 tons comparable to the mass of Earth. Some scientists believe that J1 for 07b's history includes a massive collision with a moon-sized object, possibly with a mass between that of Earth and Mars. This collision might have left behind a significant gap in the rings, a clue that led scientists to discover the planet in the first place using the transit observation method. Visualizing the scale and beauty of J1 for 07b's rings is nearly impossible, but it would likely be one of the most awe-inspiring sights in the universe if we were ever able to view it up close. We now journey to a planet that is even more mysterious, located about 80 light-years from the Sun, PSOJ 318.5-22, a rogue planet, has earned its title as one of the loneliest objects in space. Unlike most planets, PSOJ 318.5-22 does not orbit a star. Instead, it drifts aimlessly through the vast emptiness of space, untethered to any solar system. Such planets are known as orphan or nomad planets, having been ejected from their original systems and left to wander the universe alone. Paradoxically, its isolation has made PSOJ 318.5 to 20 too easier to study. Without a nearby star, astronomers can observe the planet directly without the glare of starlight obscuring their view. PSOJ 318.5 to 22 is an enormous planet eight times the size of Jupiter and much brighter. Infrared imaging revealed that it completes a full rotation every five hours and is cloaked in thick, swirling clouds. Its temperature hovers around 1 for 170 degrees Fahrenheit 800 degrees Celsius, and astronomers were even able to make a basic weather forecast for this rogue planet. Expect a hot, Cloudy day with dust storms moving several times the speed of sound and molten iron rain. This planet is only 12 million years old, a mere infant in cosmic terms. Scientists are still uncertain how rogue planets like PSOJ 318.5 to 20 to form, but they speculate that they may begin as massive gas giants or failed stars that are ejected from their systems after gravitational encounters with other planets. Moving on, we encounter WASP 1 to be a planet that is quite literally being torn apart by its star. Labeled by scientists as doomed, WASP 1 to be is a gas giant twice the size of Jupiter. Unlike Jupiter, which takes 12 years to orbit the Sun, WASP 1 to be completes an orbit around its host star in just one Earth day. The incredible speed of its orbit creates extreme tidal forces that distort the planet into an egg shape. These same forces are slowly ripping WASP-1 to be apart, a process that is expected to be complete within 10 million years. At that point, the planet will disintegrate into a cloud of gas and dust, which its star will gradually consume, even before its ultimate destruction. WASP-1-2b is an inferno. Its surface temperatures reach for 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 260 degrees Celsius, making life impossible. Yet, in 2012, scientists using the Hubble telescope discovered something astonishing, signs of water vapor in the planet's atmosphere. Even more surprising, some researchers believe that WASP 1 to be surface could be composed of graphite and diamonds due to its high carbon content. This led to the planet being nicknamed the Diamond Planet. Scientists also suspect that WASP-1 to be may have a large satellite, WASP-1 to be 1, with a radius 6.4 times that of Earth. Although this satellite is likely to be far more stable than its rapidly disintegrating neighbor, its conditions are still likely to be hostile. 
Next, we explore FOMO Hotby, a planet that once sparked great excitement in the scientific community but has since become a cosmic enigma. In 2004, the Hubble telescope detected a massive debris disk of gas and dust around the bright star FOMO Hot, leading astronomers to theorize that a large planet must be lurking nearby. Initial estimates suggested that the planet, named FOMO Hotby, was three times the size of Jupiter. However, when scientists managed to capture an image of the planet in 2008, its actual size turned out to be much smaller, perhaps no bigger than Earth or Mars. What followed was a series of strange and unexpected events. FOMO Hotby began to behave in ways that defied explanation. Its brightness diminished, its size appeared to increase, and its orbital path didn't match previous predictions. By 2014, FOMO Hotby vanished completely. After revisiting the data, scientists proposed a radical new theory, FOMO Hotby might not have been a planet at all, but rather a dust cloud formed by the collision of two asteroids or planetesimals. This collision, which may have occurred around 2004, created a cloud of debris that gradually spread out, causing the object size to increase while its brightness faded. The collision itself was a rare event, and its coincidental timing with Hubble's observations turned FOMO Hotby into a fascinating ghost story of a planet that never truly existed. Lastly, we turn to Captain B, one of the most ancient and potentially habitable planets discovered to date. Located just 13 light years from Earth, Captain B is estimated to be 11. 5 billion years old more than twice the age of Earth and only 2 billion years younger than the universe itself. What makes Captain B even more remarkable is that it orbits a red sub-dwarf star, Captain, which is 250 times less luminous than our Sun. Despite being much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun, Captain B lies within the habitable zone where temperatures allow for the possibility of liquid water. The planet's temperatures range from minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit minus 50 degrees Celsius on its dark side to 50 degrees Fahrenheit 10 degrees Celsius on the side facing the star, creating a stark but potentially survivable environment. Captain B has an Earth Similarity Index SE of 67, making it comparable to other potentially habitable exoplanets such as KOI 45.01 and Kepler 6F. Although its age does not necessarily guarantee the existence of life, it increases the likelihood. With 11.5 billion years to evolve, Captain B may have once hosted microbial life, or perhaps even more complex organisms, making it a tantalizing subject for future exploration. Each of these incredible exoplanets offers a glimpse into the extreme and often terrifying conditions that exist beyond our solar system. From Kuro 7b's rock rains and oceans of lava to J1 for 07b's massive rings and PSOJ 318. 522's lonely wanderings through space, these distant worlds challenge our understanding of what a planet can be. Even the eerie mystery of FOMO Hotby, a planet that might never have existed, and the ancient potential of Captain B reveal just how little we know about the universe. As we continue to explore these alien worlds, we can only marvel at their beauty and strangeness and wonder what other secrets the cosmos holds. As we look toward the future of exoplanet exploration, it is impossible not to speculate about the possibilities that lie ahead. Could we one day find evidence of life on a distant planet, either through biosignatures in its atmosphere or by direct exploration of its surface? If so, what form would that life take? Would it be microbial, like the extremophiles on Earth, or could it be something far more complex and alien civilization, perhaps with technology and intelligence beyond our understanding? These questions, once the domain of science fiction, are now at the forefront of scientific inquiry. The discovery of these extreme exoplanets has opened up new frontiers of exploration and imagination reminding us of the vastness of the universe and the endless possibilities it holds. While we may never fully understand the mysteries of the cosmos, the pursuit of knowledge driven by curiosity, wonder, and a desire to uncover the unknown continues to propel humanity forward. 
In the end, these exoplanets not only challenge our scientific understanding but also ignite our imagination. They remind us of the sheer scale and diversity of the universe and of our place within it. As we continue to explore and discover, we are constantly reminded that we are but a small part of a vast, complex, and beautiful cosmos. Whether or not we ever find life beyond Earth, the journey of exploration itself is one of the greatest adventures humanity has ever embarked upon. The lessons learned from these distant, hostile worlds may one day help us better understand our own planet and our place in the universe. From Koro 7b's rocky rains to Captain B's ancient potential for life, these exoplanets are not just objects of study, they are windows into the history, evolution, and future of planets, stars, and even life itself. As we continue to search the stars for answers, we may ultimately learn more about ourselves than we ever anticipated. The cosmos holds countless secrets, and with each new discovery, we come one step closer to unlocking its mysteries. The universe, in all its vastness, is not just a frontier of space. It is a frontier of knowledge, waiting to be explored.